the humanoid robotic market is evolving at breakneck speed. It's nearly impossible for anyone to keep up with the non-stop advancements and announcements. The following are some of the most notable recent developments. Remember to subscribe to stay up to speed, and use the comment section to suggest robots for future roundups. New footage of the GR1 general purpose humanoid robot appears to show a brain-computer interface for robotic control. The Shanghai-based Fourier Intelligence released new footage of the 5'5 humanoid robot. The video notes improvements to the robot over the last six months, including more flexible hands, voice interaction training, integration with digital twin technology, and extended reality applications. Weighing 121 pounds, the GR1 can carry objects up to 110 pounds and features 40 degrees of freedom. The robot can navigate complex environments with advanced motion control and self-adaptive balance capabilities. Its camera-based Pure Vision system uses six RGB cameras for a 360-degree view. The robot is intended for industrial, healthcare, and domestic tasks. Engineers at UC San Diego have trained this Unitry H1 general-purpose humanoid robot to dance. The research team says its method, called Expressive Whole Body Control, or XBody, uses human motion data to teach the robot how to move and perform gestures. The researchers say humanoid robots learning expressive movements can help them better collaborate in places like factories, hospitals, and disaster zones. They say teaching robots dancing with data from dance videos makes them more approachable and effective in human-centric tasks. The robot learned its moves by practicing in a computer simulation. It performed well in real-life situations, but there were also challenges like preventing damage from falling. Future plans include making the robot work on its own using a camera system. Unitree Robotics introduced the H1 as the Chinese company's first humanoid robot in December 2022. The robot is noted for its quickness, setting a world record of 7.4 miles per hour. The robot is equipped with 3D LiDAR and an Intel RealSense depth camera for 360-degree perception. A giant humanoid robot is headed to work maintaining Japan's railway system. Developed by JR West, the unnamed robot will perform high-risk maintenance tasks like painting and pruning along railway lines. The humanoid is controlled remotely via a VR headset. It can lift heavy objects and reach heights up to 32 feet. JR West, or West Japan Railway Company, is one of six companies created after the privatization of Japan National Railways in 1987. It primarily operates train services in the western region of Japan, including the cities of Osaka and Hiroshima. Humanoid characters can move more realistically through complex 3D worlds with a new technology developed by researchers from NVIDIA. The system, called Playmo, uses reinforcement learning to make characters walk, run, and crawl naturally. Playmo is short for plan and move. It combines planning paths and controlling movements to navigate terrain and obstacles. Playmo allows humanoids to follow planned paths effectively while responding to dynamic environmental changes. Potential applications include video game development, immersive and realistic virtual reality, robotics, animated entertainment, and simulation training programs. NVIDIA's founder, Jensen Wong, expects big advancements in humanoid robotics in the next few years that will accelerate adoption. The challenge, of course, is the technology itself is incredibly hard. A robot that understands uh, the physical world, mm -hmm. that understands the laws of physics, that when it sets this down on a table, it won't go through it, that it could set it down and, and leave it. It has to understand all of these common sense things that children somehow learned over the years. And so we have to teach these things oh, to AIs. I see. And, um, uh, and of course, the common sense, the, the ability to understand us, um, all of that technology is evolving very, very quickly. And I'm, I think that over the next two or three years, you're going to see quite significant breakthroughs. Have you ever worried about future of AI? 
Shanghai released China's first governance guidelines for humanoid robots during the 2024 World Artificial Intelligence Conference. An array of humanoid robots were showcased during the conference, including the Unitree Robotics H1, a Chinese full-size general-purpose humanoid robot capable of running as well as Tesla's Optimus. The guidelines emphasize the need for a reliable industrial supply chain and the integration of robotics across sectors where humans currently perform dangerous tasks. Humanoid robots took center stage at the AI conference as China aggressively aims to take over the humanoid robotic market. By 2025, the Chinese government wants to mass-produce humanoid robots by nurturing a few large-scale companies, creating a cluster of specialized small and medium-sized enterprises, and fostering industrial hubs dedicated to humanoids. NEO is testing the first humanoid robot equipped with Huawei's Harmony OS at the Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer's assembly plants. According to reports, the robot named Quavo is being tested at factories of NEO and Jiangsu Hengtong Group. The humanoid robot, developed by Leiju Robotics, debuted at Huawei's HDC 2024 developer conference in June. Quavo is designed for industrial and domestic settings. Harmony OS is an open source operating system designed to work with a broad range of devices like smartphones, tablets, wearables, smart TVs, and IoT devices. Founded in 2014, NIO is one of China's leading EV manufacturers. The company focuses on high-performance premium electric cars. China's first full-size general-purpose humanoid robot just debuted at the 2024 World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai. Qinlong features a highly bionic torso and anthropomorphic motion control. According to Technode, the humanoid robot can navigate different terrains, recognize and interact with objects and people, and manipulate objects with precision. It can also execute complex tasks autonomously. Developed by the National Local Joint Humanoid Robot Innovation Center, Qinglong is set to compete with advanced AI robots such as Tesla's Optimus, Boston Dynamics Atlas, and Figure's Figure 01. This humanoid robot, named Figure 01, is shown here working at the BMW factory in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The AI robot was developed by Figure, which describes itself as a first-of-its-kind AI robotics company bringing a general-purpose humanoid to life. The Figure 01 is 5 feet 6 inches and weighs 130 pounds. It can lift up to 45 pounds. It's designed to automate difficult and unsafe industrial tasks. Figure released the footage as an update to its partnership announcement with the German automaker earlier this year. A humanoid robot named Apollo is being deployed in warehouses for one of the world's largest logistics companies as a proof of concept for wider use. GXO Logistics is teaming up with Apptronic to test using the robot to work alongside humans lifting heavy boxes and crates. The Apollo humanoid robot stands 5 foot 8 and weighs 160 pounds. It can lift up to 55 pounds and is intended for tasks like moving boxes, totes, and crates within warehouses. GXO Logistics operates 869 warehouses across 27 countries, employing nearly 100,000 people. Sanctuary AI has secured another round of funding from Canadian investors to bring artificial general intelligence into the physical world. The Vancouver-based company announced new investments from BDC Capital's Thrive Venture Fund and NBC Investment Corp bringing the startup's total funding to more than 140 million. Sanctuary says Generation 7 of its Phoenix robots have improved human-like movements, visual perception, and tactile sensing, allowing them to perform complex tasks for longer periods. The speed of automating new tasks has accelerated 50-fold. China is now working on next-generation robots. Why do we say that? Well, because the Chinese company is developing hyper-realistic robots that can replicate emotions. Look at this. 
As the robotic company's worker moves her head, smiles and sticks out her tongue, a humanoid robot is mimicking her every move. Footage from the factory floor of X Robots, where hyper-realistic humanoid robots are created, gained attention globally. X Robots designs replicate human emotions and behaviors with increasing accuracy. According to the South China Morning Post, the robots take from two weeks to a month to produce. They cost up to $280,000. Most of the robots so far are for display in museums, but X-Robots aims to integrate them across sectors. Chinese scientists say they've created a robot with a brain made from human stem cells. It's a step toward human hybrid robotics. The brain-on-chip technology, developed by researchers at Tianjin University, enables the artificial brain to learn tasks like gripping objects. According to the South China Morning Post, the team used neural stem cells to construct the brain for the humanoid robot. The researchers said integrating human stem cells into robotic minds can empower machines to perform more complex tasks like living organisms. This smiling 3D face model is made with living human cells. Scientists from the University of Tokyo and Harvard 3D printed tiny anchor holes inspired by human skin to attach the living tissue to the robot. The design helps the skin stick better and keeps it from over-shrinking. The technique could make way for humanoid robots with lifelike, self-healing skin. The findings were reported in the journal Cell Reports Physical Science. Fudan University in Shanghai has introduced a new emotional humanoid robot. Named Guanghua No. 1, the robot is designed for assisting with elderly care and healthcare services. It features 45 intelligent joints. The humanoid robot displays facial expressions and shows emotions like happiness and sadness. It uses advanced artificial intelligence to interpret and respond to human emotions. Its creators say the robot provides empathetic and personalized care. Researchers will now develop the robot further to improve its interactions and practical applications in real-world settings. It, it actually gets way crazier uh, when you think about the, our, the Optimus uh, robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to um, you know, be able to do anything you want it to do. Your, you know, your companion, it can be at your house, it can sort of uh, babysit your kids, it can teach them, uh, it can be a teacher, um, it, it, you know, it can do factory stuff. Tesla has deployed two Optimus humanoid robots to perform tasks in its factory. The automaker casually announced the news about the AI-driven robots on Elon Musk's X platform in a post chronicling its notable achievements in history. According to Tesla, the Optimus design has undergone three major revisions in the past two years. Its hand design has been revised four times. Optimus was announced in 2021 during a Tesla Artificial Intelligence Day event. The humanoid robot is engineered to handle dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks and to coexist safely alongside humans in daily life. Elon Musk claims Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot could boost its value to $25 trillion. I think I think everyone in the world is going to want one. Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. So, yeah. That's what he said during the 2024 Tesla shareholder meeting. He didn't specify when Tesla could meet that market cap, and the prediction was met with skepticism. Musk confirmed Tesla plans to start selling the robots in 2025. On his X platform, he said they'll be offered as rentals before they're available for sale. The Human Plus robot can learn to box by shadowing and mimicking fast, complex human motions. The humanoid robot, developed at the Stanford University Artificial Intelligence Lab, can also play table tennis and fold laundry by copying human actions observed with cameras and sensors. It requires 40 hours of human motion data for training. Just under six feet tall, the Human Plus robot is equipped with two RGB cameras and has 33 degrees of freedom. It's powered by motors that generate up to 360 newton meters of torque. Its battery life lasts about two hours. In a new research paper, the Human Plus team said they plan to improve the robot's abilities and fix issues with its movement and pose estimation.
This humanoid robot, designed to mimic the human musculoskeletal system, is able to autonomously operate a vehicle. The robot named Musashi can sit in a car seat, press pedals, and turn the steering wheel accurately just like a real human. The humanoid robot was put to the test as part of the Department of Meccano Informatics at the Graduate School of Information Science and Technology in Japan's study seeking to improve robotics for future transportation applications. While Musashi could perform driving tasks well, the researchers said there are still improvements needed for diverse driving conditions. This is Xbot L, the first humanoid robot to climb the Great Wall of China. Robot Era just announced the achievement with a video showcasing the humanoid robot's advanced mobility and problem-solving skills. Climbing sections of the Great Wall, the robot handled uneven terrain, winding stairs, and dark archways. Possible applications for the robot are in construction and disaster relief. Robot Era, also known as Beijing Kringdong Era Technology, develops and commercializes humanoid robots and embedded intelligence technologies. A startup funded by OpenAI and NVIDIA just announced its humanoid robot Eve can multitask on its own thanks to advanced artificial intelligence. In a blog post, OneX Technology said it's developed an advanced AI system enabling Eve robots to perform multiple autonomous tasks sequentially using voice commands. The advancement enables multi-robot collaboration without teleoperation. Founded in 2014, OneX focuses on developing AI robotics to work alongside humans. They develop in OneX's facilities in San Francisco and Norway. For a deep dive on the past, present, and distant future of humanoid robotics, check the link in the description below. Remember to suggest humanoid robots and related technologies in the comments for a follow-up.